Hey, YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. So today I um I did my daughter's hair. I gave her her first little cornrows, and um, I brushed my son's hair. Reason why is because I'm not cutting his hair until Wednesday because he'll be five. My baby will be five this Thursday. <laughs> my oldest baby. Um, so I was also going to do my hair too. Something, but I need whatever I do. It's going to be for my birthday as well because my birthday is next Tuesday. A woman never reveals her age, but I'm going to be 28. I know mommy old. <laughs> so today I will be showing you guys how to do. <clears throat> well, I haven't decided yet <laughs> if I'm going to be doing yarn twists or yarn locks. I'm just going to think for a second. Give me one moment. All right, finally made up my mind. <laughs> So I'm going to just be doing my yarn twist. And the reason why I use yarn, like I didn't really like the Marley hair. Marley hair always been bad on my hair. That's why I took the last set out. This shit is terrible on my hair. It dries it the fuck out. And it's heavy. Yarn is very, very light. And it holds the moisture in really good. I like, I've, I've been using yarn for like, hmm, maybe about two years now about two years now and it's been very good like it's been very good for my hair now since i have these locks i definitely have to protect it more because i'm so used to like falling asleep with not having shit on my head and that's a problem for me but stay tuned because i'm about to show you how i do my hair starting with the prep so this is how we're going to start this off. I just want to show you guys how I prep. I always use the dining room chair just so it's like raw shoveling around there. <clears throat> but I'm only going to show you this. This one because I'm only using like a little bit of the green. I'm going to be wrapping. I got like three bundles of black. And I'm going to end up wrapping those as well. I'm going to tie a little knot right here. Just so that it's secure, it does not move. I'm doing this. Ugh. Here's my lovely bag of yarn. My lovely bag. Here is my clip. my spray because you know you have to oh my god all right so in order to keep this moisture in your hair with the yarn you most definitely have to put something in your hair like even when you do yarn wraps yarn wraps you definitely have to do like the bottom of course because the ends dry out so bad the first time i ever did yarn locks same thing yarn wraps same exact thing i didn't put anything on the bottom because i'm thinking oh well, I did, but not enough. When I was a noose, a noose. I, God forgive me. Loose natural. <laughs> so I'm also going to be using my oil of magic. And um, I'm going to put a link in the bottom of the, the, in the bottom of the, in the description box. <laughs> Tongue tied like a month. All right. So, I'm going to put a link in the description box showing you guys pretty much what's in here. All this good stuff. And also, all the good things in my spray. So, moisturize my hair. I washed it yesterday, so... Everything's clean in there. And after I finish all this, which probably won't be like... I don't know. I don't take that long when it um comes to my yarn twist because... 
I don't know. The only thing that takes long is the prep a little bit. For some reason, this time it didn't take me that long to prep my yarn for my head. So maybe because I'm doing them short and because I've done them so many times. And then, of course, to seal in the moisture, I got to use my, my little magic oil that I got going on here. Massage that on in. I ain't gonna put too too much because I'm about to lock. I mean, well, seal all this in and have my hair tucked away for a while. Hopefully, I can last a pretty good amount of time. Hopefully, you don't like you know. Now, normally for this size, the size parting that I do. I normally do like eight strands of yarn but this time I might since it's going over my locks I might do six Let's see. yeah I'm gonna do six only because I don't want it like even though it's really light I don't want it tugging on my hair I don't want to take those chances so so let's get started do 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 all right so I probably should have had these laid out outside of the bag, but you know what? Let's go. I'm going to lay them out after I show you this first one. How many is this? This is six. Alright, so, of course, I make it even. Let me take one of these right here. I'm going to go for my color it. Mm. Where we do that right here? Now, I'm going to twist this. Twist my lock in. I'm just start twisting it. And twisting it and twisting it, twisting it. It's not bad, okay. I thought it was gonna be like crazy looking. This actually might end up being a little bit <clears throat> longer than bra strap length. And it's actually really light, yeah. Because them Marley twists was heavy as hell on my head. I know, daughter. I know. <laughs> Mommy need her hair done. Like, I can't be looking all crazy and stuff. Well, after this, I'm definitely going to put my wig on. But I have to make it first. Okay, so now I am close to the end. A lot of people leave, like, a lot up I'm not into that like leaving it a lot like a lot out at the bottom so you just take the longest strand that you have so this is what you do take that wrap it around push that through tie the knot secure it just like that and I'm gonna do it again because it's long enough for me to do that it's like I have it secure enough for the time being because it is not bad I miss having these like I really do and the fact that I'm doing them yeah it's not bad it's, it's pretty secure and it's not tight it's not tight at all why did not do this instead of the Marley twist like I'm so used to doing the over loose natural hair so this when I'm close to the end I'm going to show you because this part here I don't leave it some people do it I think it's kind of like it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen I can't like some people you could probably rock it 
cool. That's your head. I, I had nothing to do with that. Me, personally, I cannot. Like, how it looks on my head is just, like, not a good look at all. So, I just <clears throat> cut it and burn it, but we'll get to that part. So I'm on my last one. What's this? Oh, <laughs> I'm on my last one, and it really took me. I started at one o'clock, and it is now six thirty. Something like I started like yeah one one fifteen, and it's like six thirty. But I took like probably like a half an hour break to you know do some editing, of course, in the beginning of my video. <laughs> but I'm about to take another little break because it is dinner time and my kids acting crazy. Well, the baby, she chilling. My son, he been talking about how hungry he was, but no, I'm not starving him. <laughs> he was just trying to eat like dumb early. I let him eat snacks and stuff, but he was trying to eat super early and I want him to spoil his dinner. So I made him wait. But now it's time for him to eat. <sighs> I got it pulled back right now because it was all in my face. Woo. But I like the finish. I ain't leaving it like this though. I'm not leaving it like this. <laughs> I got to cut and burn the end so I'll be back to show you how I do that so I am down to <laughs> doing the ends of the last six and I stopped at six because I use six strands for each of these babies <sighs> so what I did was took the ends cut them off hold up I'm doing it over a bag, so. So I ain't trying to get this on the bathroom floor. And a lot of people use lighters to burn the ends of their yarn twists, yarn locks, yarn braids. I use a candle. Now, I normally don't, um, what I'm about to show you. I need palm roll there. I normally use this cranberry orange candle that I have, but this one was in the bathroom already, so let me see. This one was already in the bathroom, so I'm using this. But if I use a candle, I don't know. You, uh, I'm not using up all my lighter fluid. Not only that. I don't know, it's like, it's more of a spiritual feeling. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know, call me weird or something, but. Like, using a candle, I feel like I'm channeling, like, my inner, like, <laughs> my inner Jill Scott, Lauren Hill, Erica Badu type thing. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm almost finito. I thought I did more than just three. Alright, hold on. 
hold up. <laughs> We finna just join that. So I can show you how I I was gonna um put my little like lock jewelry and stuff on it. But it is ten o'clock at night. And I'm done recording. Bye y'all. I'm tired. It's been a long ass day. <laughs> This ain't even take me that long to do. I just stopped for a long ass time. But this one, I did get the chance to use like a piece of the green that I have on this side. But I, I don't know. This is my little signature thing that I always do. Like whenever I do yarn twists and stuff, I end up um, taking a piece of the color instead of getting like, you know how people do gold trim and like silver trim and stuff like that. I have that, but. I don't know, it's much more unique when you're using a different color. People look at it and be like, oh, hey, where you get that color hair from? I didn't, it's yarn. <laughs> yes. And now I can wrap this stuff up. You go to bed. I wrap my head. Pray. I'm going to bed. But thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this long ass video. Good night, loves. Until next time.